strengths and capacities that communities already have. These assets include oral traditions, associations and networks, physical assets and natural resources, financial resources, cultural assets, rights and entitlements. Asset-based community development assumes that meaningful and lasting community change always comes from within. Every person has capacities, abilities, and individual skills. And local residents get to force their aspirations. Asset-based development serves to stimulate citizenship and community voice, keep ownership within communities instead of with outside agents. The desired change from this approach is building from the inside out to shift the community's self-understanding from passivity to activity. A central feature of asset-based development is also its recognition of social capital as an important asset. Social capital is generated through relationships and networks of resources. It is also a gateway to other forms of capital and the potential of collective action. The partnership approach between communities on the ground and legal entity partners was designed into the Sumi Deck program to assist communities in each phase of development. Here are some examples of the Building Community Fund. Mobilizing farm workers and dwellers for the development of sustainable and integrated community development plans is being implemented by the East Cape Agricultural Research Project on a number of farms in the Makana, Lambe and Sundays River municipalities. This project's objective is to improve the overall quality of life of farm workers and dwellers. Specifically, the project aims to facilitate the formation of and strengthen organized democratic structures on farms and support committees to construct integrated community plans. The project has two aspects. Uh, both of which is linked to uh, assisting and supporting small-scale farmers to increase their productive capacities on land reform farms. The first positive spin-off has been uh, the community mobilization and farmers building their confidence through engaging with these processes. With the setting up of the project management team process, farmers are now familiarizing themselves with project management, fundraising, reporting, uh, and that is actually enabling us to provide them with a lot more uh, freedom to take control and charge of, uh, of the project. Uh, ECOP is working with the collective structures of farm workers and dwellers um, to begin a process that will allow them at the end of the project to have articulated their vision and development strategy through an integrated community development plan. The major challenge has been that the process is quite lengthy and involves a lot of consultation and planning uh, with the farm workers and dwellers. And unfortunately our time with them is limited to just working with them over the weekends. We have, together with the project management team, come up with processes and strategies to ensure that consultations are not only taking place at the workshops but on the farms um, through the various farm committees. In the future I see a, a situation where ECOP is supporting our farm workers and dwellers to engage with wider processes around um, the integrated development plans and wider political processes that will allow them to have input in terms of how um, their development, how their issues as farm workers and dwellers are addressed in the wider policy arena. <laughs> Sunday's River Valley Community Development Initiative, supported by the Kaisa Educational and Development Trust, is another project benefiting from the Golden Community Fund. It aims to contribute towards the improvement of the livelihoods of local rural communities in the Sunday River Valley Municipal Area through agricultural development. It also aims at forming, strengthening, and building the capacity of a community development forum to coordinate. The role in the project is to support the forum 
so that he can, can be able to, to, to do his work properly through planning and other means such as begin to, to understand the processes taking forward. The future looks very bright in the sense that this is one of the important initiatives where we begin to harness the social capital so that it can be able to mobilize the entire communities around some of the processes so that they can be able to move forward in actually to address some of the challenges. Also to look at question of skills as well as um, to harness the um, question of relations within the communities so that the communities can be able to engage local government around some of the challenges they are facing. Our association with uh, farmers uh, has a long history. We will be supporting them through the Suradek Call 2 grant uh, with acquiring animal uh, traction equipment for, for ploughing purposes, as well as uh, to enable them to generate water through renewable, uh, environmentally friendly methods. So we will be acquiring uh, most probably solar pumps for the farmers to uh, uh, water their fields, uh, provide water for their animals and their livestock, as well as for human consumption. challenges. <laughs> was pumes ake esisanqwena nangokuntoba asijongeleke lo meko yamanzi also assisted by the fast track development fund is the cliplart hydroponic village supported by the ngo cliplart development forum this is a rural development initiative based in the kakadu district focused on tomato and vegetable growing the overall objective of this project is to reduce poverty and create employment in this remote town through the sustainable development of a hydroponic tunnel cooperative. This involves capacitating community leaders in sound business principles, developing improved organizational and management systems, and developing technical skills with help in acquiring critical equipment to augment the hydroponic infrastructures already built by the community. To help embed the sophisticated skills related to hydroponic agriculture, the project has recruited the assistance of a service provider who will give long-term mentoring to the cooperative through a joint venture association after the Suru Deck grant has been successfully concluded. Us as the forum, we've been in existence since 2003. Staying in this area, we just felt that something needs to be done to alleviate the po poverty conditions of this area. And hydroponic farming came as the best sustainable form of alleviating the poverty levels of this area. Yes, yeah, so now we begin af ons het aangekom en nou is as er 'n betere toekoms wat wat nou aan aan is op die wat ons voort gaan. En soos ons nou voorin toe gaan, sien ek dit sal beter uitbrei en dit sal 'n beter lewe gee vir ons wat nou hier in die projek is, sodat ons kan terug gaan en vir die ook te kan werkskep wat vandag sukkel en strewe om ook 'n stukkie brood op hulle tafel neer te sit. Ek wil self sê, dankie vir Surudek en die mentor wat ingekom het om ons op te help in die toestand wat ons strikkelblokke gekry het.
created habitat of the endangered Cape parrot provides the community with an opportunity to contribute towards the success of local ecotourism using local bird guides, train bus projects, and making good use of other tourism facilities which the people of Kata had developed earlier. Basically, the, the main sort of goal behind the project is obviously community upliftment um, within the area. Um, but community upliftment um, through obviously the utilization of the natural resources that occur in the area. Edge tourism, the infrastructure exists here, guides have been trained, so everything's basically in place. All that, all that needs to occur now really is tourists need to start visiting the area. And all the community is ripe, the community is ready for that. Thank you.